Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm here with my daughter. Hello. And in today's episode, we're going to talk about uh, the sieve of Eratosthenes, or in other words, how to find uh, prime numbers up to a certain limit. This basically means that we have an interval of uh, numbers, let's say from 1 to 100, and we want to find out the prime numbers in that interval. But first, let's uh, do a bit of recap. Do you know what a prime number is? Yes, uh, a prime number is a number that's only divisible by 1 and itself. Okay, so for example, uh, 6, is it prime? No, because it's, it's divisible by 2. And 1 and 6. And 1 and 6. Okay, how about uh, 7? 7 is a prime number. Okay, good. The beauty of uh, Eratosthenes' uh, algorithm is that uh, anybody can uh, figure it out very easily. As long as you know how to count, then you basically know how to find the prime numbers. The way Eratosthenes uh, figures out his uh, prime numbers is very uh, clever, actually. So he takes a, an, an, a table full of numbers, and then he takes number 2. And then he crosses out everything that is a multiple of 2. So 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on, up to the limit that he wants to calculate the prime numbers. Then he takes out 3, and then he crosses out all multiples of 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and so on. Then 4, you don't have to do it anymore because it's already contained by, uh, by multiples of 2. Then he takes out multiples of 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, and so on. 6, 7, 8, and so on. And as he goes through this uh, number series, every number that he finds, and it's not crossed out at that moment, that is a prime number. Right? So first he goes on 2. 2 is a prime number. He crosses out all multiples of 2. Then he goes to next number, 3. 3 has not been crossed out yet. Nope. So 3 is a prime number. And then he crosses out all multiples of 3. 4, it's already crossed out, so it doesn't, uh, it's not a prime number. Go to 5, 5 has not been crossed out, then 5 is a prime number, then he proceeds to cross out all multiples of 5, and so on. Mm -hmm. That's basically the idea of the algorithm. Now, story goes that uh, back in Eratosthenes' time, they were not writing things on paper. They were writing them on uh, uh, thin pieces of wood that were coated in wax, and uh, as he was doing his calculations on those uh, 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 pieces of wood, he was just uh, putting holes uh, in that wax to cross out the numbers, which were multiples of, uh, of other numbers. And uh, at the end of his calculations, his paper, uh, which was basically this uh, piece of uh, uh, wax-coated wood, yeah. it looked as it was all... Uh, dotted and C and looked like a C basically. So that's that's one of the reasons apparently why this is called Eratosthenes sieve. Hmm. Now, if you were to code this problem, how would you approach it? Uh, I would first ask for what like the the limit is, yeah. because you can't just do it on like forever. It has to stop. So you have to like ask. For a so limit. read read uh, read first uh, the limit. Yes. Then uh, what do you do next? Um, make an array. Because then you have like a collection of numbers in the have. and then we have to cross out all the ones that are multiples other than by one itself. So let's say your number is one hundred, and you want to find out all the primes up to one hundred. Mm -hmm. How would you represent that? A Boolean array. Array of Booleans. Array of Booleans. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then what do you do? And then uh, we can go to like certain... Uh, we can do like... Um... Oh, we can do like uh, the loop with the i and we can do 2 times i equals something and then we go to that place in the array and then we like turn it to like false because true is yes it's prime true and then false it's not prime okay wait no no does don't booleans come false that's a good question when you start 
an, with an array of booleans, are they by default true or are they by default false? I thought they were false. I think so too. We'll, we'll need to check this. Yeah, check. Um, so you start so, with a boolean array, array of booleans, which are all false. And, then, then add, and if it's true, then it is not prime. Yeah, we can say that. that if it's yeah. true, it was crossed out. So yes. you will make it true. If you encounter it and you 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 basically yeah. it's a multiple of something, then you make it true, which means you eliminated it. It's a crossed out number. Yeah. Okay. Do you think you can code this? I think so. Okay, you wanna start? Yes. Go. So <laughs> um first we need to make the main. And uh so what I was thinking was um to make another method. Let's make the problem simpler. Just print out the prime numbers. Yes, don't, so you don't need to. You don't need to put them in an array and return the array. Just make it simple. Print out. So, print out the prime numbers up to a certain number. Receive Eratosthenes. Int n. Good. So that's the limit, I assume. Mm -hmm. How are we gonna get the n? Oh wait 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 wait. Here we can do like um. This and then eleven. There. Okay, right, so that's one way. You just call the method yeah. with a uh, n, which is a constant in yeah. this case. It's just a number. Another way would be to read n from uh, the keyboard. So you ask the user, yeah. uh, please then, enter the limit, do... and then you read the limit from the yeah, keyboard. Yeah, then we do this because we need to assign it. We need to call a method. So then we're gonna call it. Why did I delete it? Okay, then n. Okay. Eratosthenes. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Um. So, so what do you need to do now? The for loop. Okay. What What are you looping on? We're looping. I is the. The, the number, it's like in the array. Well, we just make an array. Okay, so exactly. <laughs> First, you need an array. Okay, so boolean array equals new boolean array. Now, wait, here we have to do it's n exactly. plus one. Or is no. it? Yeah, it is because it starts from zero, so it's n minus what's it to do at plus one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And plus one. So you want to go up until n. Yeah, because like if we do. Okay. Now I gotta make the for loop. Okay, for loop. For. Int i equals zero. Why well, now it equals two because we start at two because. Int i equals zero as long as i is smaller than n plus one. No. No, then n. And i plus plus. For matter. Basically, just uh, if we have a look at uh, the animation here, you see they don't start with 1. Nope. Because it wouldn't make sense. Every number uh, is divisible by 1. So they start from 2. Yeah. And then they calculate multiples of 2, and then they go to 3, and then they calculate multiples of 3. And so on. Mm -hmm. So that's why our for loop also should start looking at numbers from two, basically. Yeah. Okay. So then, um, now what? <laughs> oh wait. Um. So now we have to we have to check if two is crossed out. Mm -hmm. Technically. So if wait if this is the name of the book. This is the name of it. So just just. We can just keep it array. I would say give it a better name. Yeah. Like what do you have here? Sieve. Sieve would be there, but what is what actually are there in that sieve? Numbers. numbers, exactly. So a better name would be numbers. Okay, so then if numbers I wait, so if, if mm -hmm. it's true. Then Huh wait. What does it mean that uh a number is true in that array. If it's true, that means it's crossed out. Exactly. So if it's not crossed out, then then wait then 
Okay, so we check if the numbers of i is not crossed out, then what does that mean? That means it is a prime number. So this one is a prime number. We have to print it out. Print it out, exactly. Uh, i. Now we have to cross out all the others who are divided. So we have identified now that i is prime. Mm -hmm. You print it out, and now you proceed to cross out. Turn, make it true all the others. The all multiples of, of, of i. i. Okay. Go ahead. So we have to do, like, so my idea is we do a for loop because we can't just do it a hundred times. You can't just write it a hundred times just okay. make a for loop. No. Okay. What think about, a think while? about this. Can we do a while loop? You can do any kind of loop, but uh, what are you doing in that loop? In this loop, we have to go to every single... Oh, no, no, no. I just that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we have to cross out it. So, take an example. In this case, imagine i yeah, is 2. Yes. And then what what values will j take? 4, 6. Starts with 2. No, no 2. Read the for loop. So, j starts so with two. 2. And then it checks, is j smaller than n? Is 2 smaller than n? Yes, it is. Yeah. And then it goes, and then it crosses then it crosses it out. So you gotta do two j plus i plus i because then it's four, and then it crosses it out, and then it, then it makes it six, then it checks, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. it crosses it out, and then it checks, mm -hmm. and then it makes it eight checks, mm -hmm. crosses it out. So you have to start start at int j equals start at the next multiple of i. Does that make sense? I think so. But go go ahead. So yeah. well, i plus i basically is two i, two yeah. times i. So then we gotta turn numbers at the power of j. At position j. Position j. Now the power of now equals true. So you cross it out basically. Yes. Now we cross it out. You can make it a bit nicer. Instead of saying j equals i plus i, you can say j equals 2 times i. So this will go from i equals uh, 2, j starts with being 2 times 2, 4. Yeah, then it, it checks. Makes, it, it checks j less than, let's say, 100, yes. yes. It will make numbers uh, at position j true. Then it makes j equals j plus i, so j becomes 4 plus 2, so yes. it's 6. 6 smaller than uh, n, yes, numbers of 6 is true, j becomes 6 plus 2, 8, eight. and so on, so it loops. And so okay. on, until so this, it becomes 100. So this, loops, uh, this loop looks fine. Yes. That's it. No, it can't be it. I don't know, run it, see what happens. Okay, one again. And do that. Uh, wait, let's try 10 for now. So this will be 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 2, 3, 5, 7. Nice. Okay, let's try again. I'll have to do 100. Okay, wait, no, Can you print it. them out with a comma in between or just space oh, so we don't have to scroll? Yes, it's at the print line, so I'll just do this. <clears throat> so let's do. Okay, it worked. Wait, now I gotta make sure it's true now. Okay, let's uh, check it with uh, <laughs> with this table. Okay, so two, three, five, seven. Those are correct. I know. Eleven, thirteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-three, twenty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-seven, forty-one, forty-three, forty-seven, fifty-six, fifty-nine, sixty-one, sixty-seven, seventy-one, seventy-three, seventy-nine, Yay! Good. Okay, that's it. That's it. Oh, that's it. Okay, that was easier. <laughs> Is that it? Mm. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay, bonus question here. Can you make that uh, comma at the end not be there? So there is a comma only between two numbers, not before everything and not at the end of everything. So just make it nice. 
How would you modify the code? Oh, no. oh, okay, wait. I think I remember. So, so that is not about doing if it's not first. If, uh, so Well, here you already know what the first number is. Yeah, so if. What, what is the first prime number you're going to two. output? Exactly. If i does not equal to yeah. then no then print out that and then it's just that amazing she can be that <laughs> no wait i didn't print the line yes she can't be taught. She can't be taught. Haha! <laughs> 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 Beautiful. Boom. Amazing. Well done. You get food today. I already got food. <laughs> you get dinner today. I can make a croque monsieur. <laughs> <laughs> okay, folks, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. In case you enjoyed uh, this uh, video, please uh, like, subscribe and uh, ring the bell so you get notifications next time uh, we upload uh, a new video. Until then, bye-bye! Bye-bye! <laughs>